as far as promoting yourself, let's say that you're starting to teach in a new town. And you're like, I don't know how to get students. This is it right here. Do not fight for someone's current students. Create new students. Take people that have never even entertained the idea of playing drums and turn them into students. That's how you grow your business. Don't fight for the leftovers that are out there. Create new clients. So what I did, I moved to a town called San Luis Obispo. When I quit touring, I was in my band, and I, I realized that teaching was for me. I just, I, you know, I'd spend all the time on the tour bus teaching uh, anybody that came to the show or other drummers, and I was never out doing what bands are supposed to be doing. I was on a rubber practice pad, you know, and I thought, I'm going to teach for the rest of my life. I moved to a town called San Luis Obispo. It's a beach town. I'd never been there before, and I didn't know anyone there. And I talked to the local owner, and at this time, there was no Mike Johnston branding. I had no name whatsoever. My band <laughs> had never been, we were the opening band for everybody else. So he, it wasn't like I could say, oh, just so you know, I'm Mike from Corn. Like I had nothing that I could say. I said, I'm Mike from Sacramento, California. That was it. The place was called The Drum Circuit, and the owner's name was Steve Hillstein. And Steve, just like Creative Live, took a chance on me and said, okay, well, I have no students for you, but nobody teaches in that room on Thursday nights. It's yours if you want it. It's all I need. Just, like we said before, just give me a chance, please. So he gave me a chance. The next step, okay, I can fight for the students that are here, which I'm going to create a lot of hatred around me if I do that, or I can create new ones. So I went to all the elementary schools in the area. There's a nearby town called Atascadero. I went there. I went to Pismo Beach. I went, San Luis Obispo has its own school system, went there. I went and had meetings on the phone. I got a shirt that had sleeves and one of those, you know, collars. You have one. Yeah, I, like I got a professional shirt with buttons and everything. And I covered up the tattoos, and I bought a fake nice watch, and I, I tried to look as professional as possible. And I had a meeting with the vice principal. I said, hey, how's it going? My name's Mike Johnson. I'm, a, I'm an educator. I had established, I'm not a drummer anymore. I'm an educator. I'm not a teacher either. I'm an educator. So I used that term. My name's Mike Johnson. I'm an educator. I would love to come in here and teach your kids about geography and rhythm. And it's like, okay, I'm interested. Talk to me. Okay, it's going to be a free assembly. We'll get all the kids in the room. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to play something on the drum set that'll be super fun and exciting to listen to. And then I'm going to get up and I'm going to talk about where that rhythm came from and the people that created that rhythm. And I'm going to, we're going to call this, uh, you know, rhythms of the world. I'm creating all this stuff in this meeting. Rhythms of the world. And I'm going to teach about all this stuff. I'm going to take them through Brazil and through Africa and through India and definitely through America. And I'm going to show them the different places that created these amazing rhythms. And the vice president, president's like, that would be awesome. I'm like, okay, how much do you charge? Nothing, it's free. The vice pre president's like, what? Vice principal, vice president. <laughs> Anyways, so vice principal says like, okay, so what do you need? All I want is I'm gonna give you a stack of 500 gift certificates good for one free drum lesson. Please just hand them out to the kids that are interested. That's all I'm asking. Vice principal's like, yeah, no problem at all. Sweet, I'll see you on Wednesday. Go home, I practice my rear end off and I create this assembly all by myself. Load in, I do the assembly, awesome. It goes well, the kids freak out, I let them play the drums, I involve everybody, everyone's happy. These are all kids in grade school level under seventh grade. They haven't chose a hobby yet. Fresh minds, I'm ready to go. Everyone hands out their gift certificates. Now in my mind, I'm probably not gonna get any calls right away. I'm not banking on that. What I'm banking on is this. That gift certificate is on someone's refrigerator right now and someone's about to have a birthday. And I'm just hoping that the parent will take that gift certificate off the refrigerator and be like, do you still want to do drum lessons? Let's do that for your birthday. And I'll get that call. And then Christmas is going to come. And then Easter is going to come. And then Halloween drum lessons are going to come. And that, those gift certificates are going to last on refrigerators for a year. And they're going to keep going. And so as soon as I was done, it wasn't like pack up and try to tell the kids like, okay, make sure your parents call me. That's, that's sham wow. That's $19.99 at the screen. I don't want to do that. It's like, hey man, I had a blast hanging out with you guys. I'll be right back, I gotta go talk to your vice principal. I go into the vice principal's office and say, hey, thank you so much for letting me do that. I had a blast. If you wanna do it again next year, I'd love to do it. And we'll do a whole bunch of different countries we didn't do this time. Can I ask you for one more favor? Yeah, sure, what's up? Can you write me a letter of recommendation that this went well? Oh yeah, of course. That's all I needed. That's my chance. I have my letter of recommendation from a vice principal of, a, you know, of an elementary school. I take that to Atascadero, I take that to Pismo Beach, I get into those schools. Now, after my third one of these, there's 1,500 gift certificates for one free lesson. I'm not undercutting anybody. My price is $100 a month, so I haven't, I haven't undercut anyone. It's one free drum lesson. It's my chance, it's my audition to earn your business. 
And that's what I did in a town I'd never been to. And within 60 days, I had like 65 students. And we had to actually find places for me to teach because I couldn't teach everybody that was coming in. So you can't say like, well, but you have this brand and you have this name. That was a brand new town that I'd never visited in my life. So this goes all the way back to the beginning of this course. What is the difference between me and whoever else was in that town? I couldn't change their talent. I couldn't change that they were more gifted than the drums of me, but I could outwork them. They had to go to sleep at some time. I could stay up later. I could outwork them, and I could make sure that I got those students. So I took 1,500 gift certificates and said, how about I have the potential to get 1,500 brand new students rather than fighting over the 20 that Jack already has. It makes no sense to do that. So I hope that concept makes sense to you guys. I hope you understand fighting over the scraps is pointless. Go find new clients and create them and show them this amazing instrument. Do you know how rad this instrument was to me when I was a kid? Because I tried football, tried baseball, I tried sports and it didn't work out. And all of a sudden it was like, I guess I'll just never be cool. Then the drum set came along and it was like, dude, this is kind of cool. And people were like, oh, you play drum set? That's awesome. And I was like, yeah, man. And people wanted to come to my house to play my drum set. And that was really cool. Well, kids identify with that stuff. So definitely do that.